What's up, man? It's Mike. It's Behind the Dirt. Look, I was looking back at some of the old junior world team trials finishes, and uh, I took a look. See, he beat Bo Nickel, and one of the ways that he did it was on a single leg. Now, if you look at his single leg, he's shooting pretty high percentage. When I say that, what I mean is, let's take a look at four single legs, right? He's finishing 50% of them. Now, Usually, that's a pretty good percentage, but against Bo Nickel, that's an outstanding percentage, okay? And if you look at the difference between the ones that he scored on and the ones that he did not score on, there is one very distinct difference. It's his head position, okay? So on the ones that he did not score on, he took a swing single motion, and then his head was trapped underneath. What I mean is, he goes single leg to here, and then Bo stuffs him, hips down real hard like that, squares up on him, and Zahid does not get to finish. Now, on the ones that he did score, he simply retracts just a little bit and gets his head to the outside. So it's the same swing, single, uh, swing, single motion, and then as he goes to kind of square up, he sinks back, and his head goes to the outside. Now, from there, it was pretty easy to finish for Zahid. Okay, watch it one more time. And there's that single leg to a high crotch for Zahid. Valencia gets to the quad pod. He's just, you know, one of the best junior wrestlers in the world. And there's that single leg again, but this time, Nickel, Nickel's really good. It, there's a club sweep, and there he gets the Club, same sweep. These are little tiny things that really just reinforce the fact that having good position on a single leg is far more important than just chasing a leg.